Well, no, but I chose you because I need you. Do something for me, CC, so you're gonna write my story. Why would I do that? Because I want you to. See? Well, not sure you do, but you will soon. How can you be so sure? You, um, you God? Don't play with me, James. You continue to ask stupid questions and I'll end the session. Well, that would be unfortunate for you because I'd have to make my determination based upon limited information. And you think that scares me? Oh, well, it should. I mean, it, it would me, being so near to death. Death doesn't scare me, James. And why is that? Because I can't die. See, James, I'm a demon. Do you have a name? Of course I have a name. Would you like me to call you by? Depends who I call you, James. I'd prefer Dr. Martin. Of course you would. It's my title. I, uh, I worked very hard to achieve it. And it preserves the nature of our relationship. We can do that. As long as you agree to acknowledge my honorifics well. Which is? Lord High Prince. I, um, I won't be doing that. Okie dokie. And since we're going to be on a first name basis, I guess I'll allow you to use mine. Edward? No, it's merely the name of the host's body. It's shell which I inhabit. I no longer answer to it. The name my master gifted to me is in a Phoenician dialect that hasn't been spoken for 3,500 years, but I'll give you the nearest English equivalent, which would be Nefariamus. Ne nefarious? A closer translation would be he who is nefarious, suggesting possession of the trait full measure. Yeah, nefarious isn't a real name. Says who, James? Cephas, meaning rock, or in Latin, Petrus, wasn't a name until the carpenter gave it to that obnoxious fisherman. Not his name until it is. Somebody uses it, it becomes a name. You, you seem a bit defensive. Names are important. They have power. They let everyone know who we are. Isn't that right? Jimmy. <laughs>